Anything I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. Today's video takes us to Bethany, Oklahoma, where we find a frauditor who called a man a name. It wasn't really a derogatory name, it was a shaming name. And then the police were called, and then the man got a ticket. Hmm, interesting indeed. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all. <laughs> I have it all on camera. I have two cameras, so therefore everything is recorded. The cameras don't lie. They don't lie. I have not broke one law. I have not made any threats. Not made any threats. Did not go inside the premises. It's all on video. Please don't lie to the police officers. Now this is our Yehu behind the camera and he was speaking to the man on the left in the blue shirt wearing the glasses. Let's listen to why he's getting arrested in his own words, what he says later in the clip. Let's go ahead and roll that. I'm getting a ticket, y'all, for calling a fat ass a fat ass in public here in Bethany, Oklahoma. You can't call someone a fat ass here in Bethany, Oklahoma because they will write you out a ticket. A few moments later. Making obscene gestures towards him and a female. That is Take, disturbing then, then, the peace. No, it's not. It's my, it uh, it's my First Amendment right. It is my First Amendment right. Do I need to get the Constitution out and show you? Well, you can. You you're you're trying to trample on my want. rights and it's not going to work today, what sir. I'm telling you is you're not going to trample on my rights. You're not going to trample on my First Amendment right. Okay, you're going to have to take me to jail in order to trample on my First Amendment right because I did not do anything wrong. So I know for a fact. That you didn't call him an effing fat ass. Uh, yeah, I did. That's my First Amendment right because that's my opinion. Okay. Just like I well, think you're fat right, too. What I'm saying. You know you're fat? I think I'm, you're fat. What I'm saying. That's well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the, you I think you're fat too. So what are you going to do so, about that? I'm not going to do anything. Okay, I'm, that's fine. I'm not so offended. you're you're fat. I told you right in front of the police officer, you're fat. Okay. Sir, so, would you like to sign a citizen's complaint? Take me to jail. Okay. I'll get a citizen complaint for you. You can stand right here and I'll get you a court date. Am I detained? You're not detained, you just... Okay. They, so they have refusing? the ability to... They have the Are ability to sign a complaint against you. Am I detained? Well now, full disclosure here. I'm not a YouTube law expert, but when a cop tells you to wait right here, I would think you're detained. Like a, like I said, I'm not a YouTube law expert. If they're going to sign a citizen complaint for what? against you... For what? You're here, so I have to serve you. For what? We're calling him a fat ass. He is a fat ass. Okay. Well, that's he is. obscene. No, and that's not obscene. The peace. See, you're Under looking. You're looking. Now, Many do you know. do you do you appreciate your qualified immunity? Mm -mm. I'm gonna pull something up for you. Do you let me see? Because I'm if I'm wrong, to. I'll, I'll I'm leave if I if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm positive I'm not. I'm going to. I'm positive I'm not. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just gonna invoke my Fifth Amendment right right now. And before you even question me, I'd like my rights read, and then well, I'm going to invoke for an attorney. Mm -hmm. Because I've done nothing wrong, and I know I've done nothing wrong, mm -hmm. because I'm up to date on these state statutes, and you go ahead and look all you want to, but you're not going to find anything there that... No, I'm just looking yeah, for the no. specific... The, the, the elements of the crime aren't there. What are the, the elements of the crime? Isn't there three elements? Three elements? What are the three elements? What are the three elements? Elements of the crime, sir. What are the elements of the crime? You don't have the elements of the crime. This is what I was talking about. This guy is not only a YouTube law expert, he's a YouTube lawyer. He's a bona fide attorney, can practice in all 50 states, no doubt. Because there's not one. You're looking to enforce their feelings. You're trying to enforce feelings. You took an oath to the Constitution to uphold the Constitution. Okay, which is my all right, right. All right, so, okay, for, per Bethany Ordinance 132.001, disturbing the peace, mm -hmm. okay? It is unlawful to disturb or alarm the peace of another or others by doing in any of these acts set out in the division below. Subsection B, disturbing the peace is doing any of the following in a manner as would foreseeably alarm or disturb the peace of others, using obscene, offensive, or abusive, profane, vulgar, threatening, violent, or insultive language, or conduct any of those 
Oh, Frauditor, you just got roasted by the police. Now what you gonna do, sweet thing? That's obscene, it's assaultive. Did you see it? Okay, you just told, you did it in front of me, on camera. I didn't say no foul, yes, you did. no foul language. I said he was a fat ass like What you. is it, what do you call ass? Did you not hear the word insulting in that? Ass? In that description of that? that ass? Word? Is fat a ass. donkey. You're a fat ass. Ass is a donkey. You did. You have. You said you did. Okay. Well, then. And you did it on then, camera then, and my then, camera. Then write me out. Well, I'm saying he said he wants to sign a citizen complaint That's against up to you him. for that. That's he up to him. He said he did. So I'm gonna go get paperwork okay. so that you can go to court. Okay. That's all I'm doing. That's our city ordinance. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sounds good. We're gonna have to speed this video up, good people, because it's 30 minutes long and we've only done about five minutes of it. Yeah, this Yahoo should have stuck to post offices, although he doesn't do that much better there. Let's go ahead and speed this sucker up. Five minutes later. I need to see your driver's license. I don't have my driver's ID. license with me, I don't think. Huh? I'll just give you my name and my uh, date of birth. And this is under threat of arrest if I don't give you this information? My well, information. Sir, I have, yes, okay, I have to okay. give you I just, this. I just, I just, okay, I'm, for a second, for I'm a second. asking you one question. Can, can if I, I just tell you something? Sure thing. Right now, I have an offense that you've committed, okay, against another citizen. He has the right to sign a citizen's complaint, okay, to take you to court. He said he would like to do so. In order for me to do that, I have to have your personal information, okay, mm -hmm. okay. to be able to fill out the paperwork okay, now, to give you your court. My, my, my question is... If I don't give you my information, are you going to so arrest you're, me? So you're refusing? No, no, you're refusing to answer my question. My question is very simple and it's very clear. Are if you going you refuse. to refuse? Okay. If I refuse. You've broken a city ordinance. If I refuse to give you my ID, are you going to take me to jail? This guy must watch Looney Lana's videos, or I mean, Man Bun Lana. What's going to happen if I if I don't do this and I don't do that? You're going to be arrested and taken to jail. Now what the hell? Do you want to go to jail? That's not, See, you're avoiding the question. I'm just asking you so that way I'll, I'll know where I stand with this. Yes, okay. So, okay. When law so yes, says, you said it. Yes, you said when it. law enforcement says. You said it. Perfect. Okay, sir. Lewis, L-O-U-I-S, are you writing it down? No, I want to explain something to you. Okay, you already did. When you said that I was going to be arrested. Broken, you said I'd broken. be arrested is what I heard. Okay, when there's been a law broken and I have to identify you in order to complete my paperwork or my investigation. You said I would be arrested. Reviews, you can go to jail, yes. You said I would be, okay, well, I'm giving okay. you my inf information. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's freedom of speech that you're trampling on, but that's okay. I'm not trampling on anything. I'm they, they, can do, they can do whatever. They can do whatever. They we'll can take and you can. You can do whatever you want. That doesn't bar you from consequences. What's your last name? Now, this Yahoo is not the sharpest knife in the drawer. He didn't edit out his personal information, but I will. He is just a stupid little man. Oh, don't trample on my precious rights. Oh, no, don't do that. You know, that's all I'm going to give you. I don't think I have to give you. I think you can get my, all my information with my well, name. Well, so... I, I, gave you my, I gave you my information. There I'll look it up, and I'll that's, be right back. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, so he has filed a citizen complaint against you. Uh, Stamp explained it to you uh, disturbing the peace. The city ordinance is 132.001. If I could, please just have you sign right here. All right, sir. This is basically your information here, and this is the plaintiff. This is your case number. This is what the plaintiff states against you. And then this is your copy, okay? Your court date's going to be on uh, 11th of November at 1030 in the morning. Right here. Do you have any questions for me, sir? Nope. Thank you very much. Thank have a good you. Day. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate this very much. Thank you. Uh, tell them I appreciate this. Thank you very much. Thank you. This frauditor is dumb as a bag of rocks. As a matter of fact, he probably has rocks for brains going around calling people names and then claiming it's his First Amendment right. What is wrong with you, boy? Jason! Jason! Hey, just to let you know, I'm actually a good customer of yours. I bought three guns from your store. You can look, you can look now that you have my name, you can look at your records. I'm actually a really good customer of this store. I come here twice a year and buy tickets for the Wanamaker Gun Show. I, I'm a good customer of yours. L look at your records and you'll see all the products that I have bought from you. I, I have bought a lot of products from you, sir. 
Well, now, Sonny Boy, just because you patronize somebody's store doesn't give you the right to call them names. What is wrong with you? Mommy and Daddy didn't raise you right, and now look how you turned out. Well, he has to go to court and pay for that now, doesn't he? Not to worry. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe, because this video proves there's no end to the stupidity in the world on YouTube, especially when it comes to frauditors. Please check out my newest channel creation, Dr. Dave Frauditor Terminator. It features the four fabulous fools of frauditing. Boom Boom Boy, Man Bun Lana, Rusty Boy, and of course, Baby Girl Zach, who was declared indigent by the court, which means he doesn't have two dimes to rub together. He's flat broke. Oh, and check out my main channel as well. There's over 6,000 videos there for your entertainment pleasures. Yeah, this frontator has way too much spare time on his hands. Can anybody help the lad find a job? Well, I didn't think so. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400-level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason. Really, I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Take a swing. Take a swing. You go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Salami hala hamdullah. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. You want to do it, you, let's do it. Let me know, buddy. Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why sir, don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna be you hit me. Okay. Sir, okay now you I'm take my you. picture, dude. I don't know you. I said I broke your shoulder. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. I have been putting in job applications, and it's. I, I don't know any job where you walk up to it, fill out the application, and they hire you right on the spot. She spit me in my face right now. She spit in my face. Right now she spit in my face. I got a camera. Sixty dollars, guys, is what we're trying to raise. So if you can help out, contribute towards it, feel free to donate, guys. I won't ever ask for money on this channel again. You touch my phone, you can't touch my phone. Okay? You touch my phone! Why did you touch my phone? She touched my property! Hey, what's up, guys? So we're here at the America's Best Value. Um, we're trying to get a room. I'm asking for help. Please, guys. I need y'all's help. And you can't solicit a trespass, bro. You just solicited a trespass. I asked her what she wanted. No, you can't say, do you want them trespassing? You can't use that line. She touched my phone. I got it on a video. I want to arrest her. I want to arrest her. I want you, you're gonna go to jail now. <laughs> We're a little low on funds, guys. Uh, so I wanna make a quick video. If there's any way you guys can help out, uh, we're trying to get a room. I'm gonna pay you too, okay? Right. You're done already, I got you in all videos. This is a public sidewalk, she touched me. She touched my phone, okay? This is an expensive phone. This is almost 1200 okay? Mrs. Potato's breaking my balls, everyone. <laughs> She's straight up breaking my balls. I will never beg you for it. 
I won't beg nobody for nothing. Please don't touch me. Step sir, outside. Sir, sir, what are you doing? I, I, what are you doing? Donate to the PayPal if you can help out. If you can't, I understand. The PayPal link below. So if any of you would like to send me some money to help me out, I could greatly use it, but I'm not begging you for it. So I'll just leave. I live here. Listen, you have a bipolar problem. How you feel? You're bipolar. You're having a bipolar episode. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. You threatened me in my room like a little bitch. And if you want to take it to the street, we can do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I was cutting the grass with a pair of scissors, just tidying up the, instead of using a weed whacker, sometimes I use scissors because I'm really fast. Keep your distance, bitch. You Keep your swing, distance. Then, then go ahead. Keep you your distance, me, bitch. You me and that's your ass. Keep your distance, you bitch. Me I will sue you. You can sue anybody you want, anytime you want. Okay. If, if, if they do, I will sue him first because he's in charge. You're in charge, right? You're the guy in charge. You're the one who gets listed on the lawsuit.